6.3 exponential equations. We're not going to cover inequal exponential inequalities, so you don't need to do the second part of the chapter. But equations, all we're going to do is isolate the variable like we've always been doing. But we also have to use all the exponential rules now as well. So we have 2 raised to the 3x power equals 16 to the 1 minus x. And we're going to be solving, solving. There's a few ways to do this. I like to match bases. So I know 16 is a power of 2. What power is it? It is 2 to the 4th power. So now I have a power of a power. I can write this as 2 to the 4 times 1 minus x equals 2 to the 3x. Bases are good, and they match, so the powers have to be equal. So exponents are equal. So we have 3x equals 4 times 1 minus x. Distribute the 4. Ooh, that would be 4 minus 4x. 4 minus 4x. We'll add our 4x to the other side. 3 plus 4. 7x equals 4. x equals 4. 7. And there we go. So that is our solution. And now we're going to solve over here. And that I pulled this example right out of 6.3.1. This is number 1, and this one will be number 6 here. All right, isolate the uh, x, the variable. First move, let's get the 2 out of here. Multiply both sides by 2. And what to do next? Now this is going to be a little bit tricky. I'm going to do something a little bit strange. I, first of all, before we do some funky algebra, I'll just use the reciprocal property. Now, I don't really like fractions, so what I'm going to do is multiply by the denominator. So multiply everything by e to the x. Now, when I say everything, there's only one thing on the right side, but on the left side, there's two things. You have to multiply not just the fraction, but this as well. So e to the x times e to the x, or e to the x squared, minus 1 equals 10e to the x. I could write this as e to the 2x, but I'm going to leave it like this instead. And I subtracted 10 e to the x. It may seem like a really good idea to add one to the other side, but that won't be a very uh, useful move here because then I will be able to factor out e to the x, uh, but I won't be able to use the zero product property. So I have zero on this side. If I can factor, I'm going to be in business. So think about this as u squared minus 10u minus 1 equals zero. So this is your brain right here. How do we factor this? Hopefully it will factor nicely. Negative 10 multiply to make negative 1. don't see how to do that, so when in doubt, you can complete the square, or you can quadratic uh, formula. So I'll go complete the square, u minus half of 10 is 5, minus 5 squared minus 1 equals 0, that's 0 squared, all right. So we have, I'm going to get solved for u right here. Now, why did I use u? How does that relate to this? u equals e to the x. So minus 25 minus 1 is 26, minus 26. So we're going to square root both sides. Don't forget plus minus. So u equals 5 plus or minus square root 26. Now that's u, that is not uh, our original x. So we have 
e to the x equals 5 plus or minus square root 26. How do we solve here? We need to move the base to the other side. So this is x equals log base e of 5 plus or minus square root 26. And I could write it as ln if I was going to submit this to web work. You have to be a little careful. We have a log here. I have to make sure this is uh, the domain of a log is 0 to infinity. This 5 minus square root 26 would be negative. How do I know? Square root 26 is a little bigger than square root 25, which is 5. So I'm going to only go with the positive. I'm going to throw away the negative. So my final answer right here, just 5 ln 5 plus square root 26. Don't try to simplify this further. This is addition inside of a log, not multiplication. So there's no um, way to simplify this down.